Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Olak and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Pico W and your DHT11 um, temperature and humidity sensor. So we're going to learn how we can use this sensor to monitor the uh, room temperature and the room humidity. So let's see how this goes. So make sure your circuits are well connected. Um, all your components are <coughs> well inserted in the breadboard. Then you connect your um, USB cable to the port of your laptop or computer. Now we're going to write our codes for our Pico W and DHT11. So first thing you need to do is to open Tony IDE if you have installed Tony IDE into your computer or laptop. Otherwise, if you haven't installed, then follow the link uh, below to download and install Tony ID to your system. Uh, so next, you need to open a new file, which is untitled. Then you click on this uh, stop button to make sure your Pico W is connected to your laptop, your Tony ID. So once this prompt shows, it makes your Tony ID is connected and ready to uh, communicate with your computer. So the next thing is we're going to import our libraries. So I'm going to put a comment here. Import, sorry. Import libraries. Um, so we're going to import our DHT library, um, our pin module, uh, sleep module. So next we're going to configure our GPIO. Um, so in this case, we are using uh, the DH, the GPO 10 of the Pico W to connect to our DHT 11 sensor. Um, next, uh, we're going to connect an LED. So LED. Uh, <coughs> um, so pin uh, zero GP zero, and we're going to say pin dot out okay um so the next thing is um uh, we're gonna write a function to read our dht 11 sensor so i'm gonna insert the codes here so this function <coughs> read underscore dht 11 sensor reads the um, value from our DHT sensor, uh, which is connected to GP010, GPO10. Okay, so basically, um, there's a two minutes, two second uh, delay. Um, so the DHT level sensor requires minimum of two seconds for it to reset and um, become stable in order to read the values. Then the DHT underscore level sensor dot measure measures the re the raw values. Uh, from there, we read the temperature value and also the humidity value. And this is converts our uh, temperature degree in Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then we we'll return the values of our temperature and humidity. Uh, in this case, we're just returning the temperature in Celsius and the humidity value. Um, if it fails to read the sensor, then it should return an error uh, value. Okay, so the next thing is. Um, we need to write our while loop. So while loop. While sorry. While true. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> we're gonna read the values, call the function, dh the read underscore dht level sensor, and we store the value in our DHT11 variable. Um, so the next thing is we're going to take the values of the temperature and the humidity. All right. So the next thing is we're going to print the values of our temperature and humidity to the shell so we can see the values. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> this is just the basic code. Uh, this is done, then you need to save, save to your Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, so maybe I will save this as DHT 
um, 11 um, 1 dot p y all right so we click save then i'm going to run my code to see if it works so let's do that yeah it's working so after a two second delay you can see it's reading the temperature so currently my temperature says 35 degrees celsius and the humidity is 29 uh, percent so this is working so now if i want to um switch on the led if the temperature value is more than 35 degrees celsius then i can add this command if um, temperature value is uh, greater than uh, let's say uh, 34 then led so remember we created our led object here led um led dot on okay sorry led dot on else led dot off okay so this is going to switch on the led uh, once the temperature value is more than 34 so i'm going to stop this now and run the program and we'll see if this works so let's uh, program um, verify pico w okay so now you can see uh, once the temperature value is more than 34 in this case you can see the value is 35 um, so you see the led is on as you can see from the